All right, day seven. Greetings from Phoenix, Arizona. I'm joined here by my best friend, Ed. We are at the Brass Armadillo, which is confusingly open nine to nine, seven days a week. So I'm gonna go in and we're gonna check it out, maybe find some stuff and uh, let's go. This place is huge. So far I'm seeing like a lot of reproduction. Like this caught my eye, but it's new. I'm not really gonna be buying anything fragile cause my one carry on is still kind of packed and um, I'm leaving tomorrow and I'm not really trying to go to, uh, that's so cute ship stuff off like I did last time I was on vacation. I am like so drained. I like this scarf. <laughs> it's ew, really itchy. Hmm. That's unusual. But yeah, as I was saying, if I can find something small and not breakable. Oh, that's so cute. Um, I would be... Oh, I, crap. I forgot I was chewing gum. Hold on. Let me not chew gum here. J. Chen Bank. What are the prices like here? $24.95. That's actually really good price, especially in what good condition is in. Oh, I love these. Um, if it was a little bit less, I would get it, get it for resale just because it's like pristine. <laughs> um, the last one I had, I wanted to keep for myself, but I sold. So I think this place is like 5,500 square feet, which is insane. I like this elephant. I've never seen one of these elephants uh, made in Italy. That is, oh my gosh, and it's only $10. This actually very much so upsets me. If uh, my situation was a little bit different, as I explained before, I would definitely grab this. It's very cool. Hey, look, it's one of those ducks that Jocelyn bought. Man, and it's only $8? This place is incredible. The prices are amazing. Look at this frog. $6. So cute. He's got a little, unlike this frog vase. I think it's new. Yeah, definitely, but still really fun. Oh, man, and look at this little trinket shelf. Oh, oh my gosh. Kind of checking out the doll situation here. I see a lot of really unusual ones. Like this is an unusual size for uh, her, I feel like. Very, very cool. All right, I'm a big fan of this booth too, especially this uh, lion. I've seen the stuffed pillow version, but that's the one that you use to make it. And the Grand Prix blanket, that looks new though. Yeah, this place is insane. I feel like I'm gonna get really lost. I've already lost Ed. I'm kinda like hoping to find him, <laughs> which is why I'm kinda scurrying about. Oh my gosh, look at all this mid-center. I love these bowls. Those are awesome. And it's seven, $18 for this set of four? Ah, oh my gosh, stop. Oh my good gracious. Look at all this. This squirrel family, obsessed. I hate this. I mean, I hate that I can't like buy everything and go crazy. Like these vases down here, those are really cool. Oh, I was kind of running through when I caught sight of this DeForest or, man, and it's only $14, that's insane. I would totally, I don't mean to be whiny. I would totally grab that. Oh, and now it's on sale too, gosh. This place is awesome. Favorite antique mall. Okay, well, you just missed me scream like a freaking, I stepped on a mouse or something. This animatronic Santa just scared the crap out of me. I'm supposed to be looking for postcards for Ed to send, but really, I'm just kind of thinking that this might be the kind of place where you find a left, I mean, left and I was just, oh my God, look at that cow figurine. Ah. Um, I was saying this might be the kind of place where you can find a Rushton. Love this little cat. 
That is so cute, $7. Oh my gosh. I would need to factor in the fact that I would spend a crap ton of money shipping all the stuff I want to get back to me if I were to return here. So many gems and like incredibly reasonable prices. And it seems like untouched. I like that bank. Oh, hello there. I'm telling you, literally every single booth that I have bypassed, I've been skipping over because I'm really trying to rush because we've got to get back on the road eventually. I don't want Ed to hate me for stopping. But every single booth has something I would pick up for resale, which is unbelievable. I mean, you guys probably see how many <laughs> antique malls I go to. Um, it's very rare where every single booth has something I'm like, at all interested in like this umbrella <laughs> random that's more of a cute thing for me like what everything everything i've i'm really considering uh coming back here like this clothing booth what yo what um oh sorry i'm chewing gum again chaotic this is chaotic i'm sure my camera i'm gonna be editing this and be like dang this was not my greatest moment but <laughs> i mean after a week of being on the road and being away from antique malls i'm sure uh i'm sure you can imagine my energy is neurotic i mean there's so much here i know this is very repetitive but uh this is kind of like my favorite when i go to an antique mall and kind of remember how I fell in love with what I do in the first place. Like, this caught my eye immediately. Never seen this one. It's got a really big hairline. Lamp situation out of control. Look at that uh, shade with the beads. It's like so freaking awesome here. Oh my gosh, stop. Look at you. I've never seen one in this size. $30, she's fantastic. Wow, I really love her and her shoes. I was obsessed with those shoes when I was a kid. I remember seeing them in that movie, Pollyanna. I think it's time to retire my $4.99 gas station uh, basic black cap that I've stepped on multiple times during this road trip with this uh, $9 classic Adidas hat. Oh, there's Ed. Hey. Oh, I love this. <laughs> He's great. Not for sale. I don't blame you. I'm like so into this little coat. So soft. Oh my gosh. This shirt. Oh, I wish it was a little bit smaller. Yeah, Ed uh, made a comment that the t-shirt game here was very strong. And I am um, totally agreeing. I see a lot of... Oop, excuse me. I see a lot of t-shirts that are of interest. There's so much happening here. I kind of just want to shop for myself. I'm not going to lie. Like, what is this belt? We really freaking like this belt. Looks tiny. Ah, Ruthie Newton. Look at this guy. <laughs> like this clothing booth? I don't know why I'm very attracted to this. <laughs> what is this bag? All right, I'm just gonna breeze through this nook before I go catch up with Ed. I just wanna make sure I'm not missing something like really obvious. I would be super upset if I didn't just at least get a quick glimpse of everything there is here because there's certainly a lot okay so surprisingly i have yet to find any rushtons i know i'm like all over the place i really feel like i'm gonna miss something um but now i'm gonna go look for ed oh look at this angel this is a unique one i have to know three dollars and fifty cents oh as is that makes you feel a little bit better but this purse oh my gosh Ed, marco 
Well, I have still yet to find Ed, but I did find this luster, luster wear set. I thought it was $59.99 for the whole set of $55. All right, that makes me feel better. <laughs> oh my gosh, these ornaments. How freaking cute. They kind of have like a Napco Holt Howard vibe. They are vintage. In, oh, they're Inarco. Inarco Italy. Oh my gosh, those are fantastic. And they're only $10 each. Oh my God, look at how many there are. Oh. Okay, but also this wall pocket situation. The cat is 20 and the girl is 35. Those are awesome. And the Harlequin dancer. Yo. Hold up. What? Okay, so she has a super repaired neck, so that makes me feel better. Look at this one with the umbrella. 90, okay, that makes me feel better too. This, 40, the Christmas ones. Look at that one with the spaghetti holly bear trim hat, 175. All right, that makes me feel a lot better because that is a really incredible one I have not seen. Oh. Look at the dog family. But it's 75, that makes me feel better too. Cute little cat playing the violin. The little, who's that fortunate on Intercos? Gosh. Um. Okay, well there's that, but this is $25. Um. Wow. I've never even seen one of those before. Um, do you think that's gonna make it home safely? I'm kind of willing to risk it. I, I have a feeling that sells for a lot of money. Hold on. Okay, so sure enough, I found it. It's uh, an Ardolt Japan Miss, hold on, I'm so excited. I can't even remember what it was. So this is an Ardolt Miss Modesty Bell. I've never actually seen one in person. It is not $25, it's case 25. It's uh, 45, which is more than fair. But for $45, I don't wanna risk getting this uh, beauty home in my duffel bag. Very cool though, worth, worth the wait. All right, Ed, tell us what you got. Uh, freedom isn't free. Freedom isn't free. Very good choice. Caught in the web. Caught in the web. A, a classic. E-commerce, 1999. Oh, man. That's a really good one. Big fan. Merle's Automotive Supply. Good. Some good stuff. Well, it's a fun trip. We got some goodies for ourselves. And uh, I'm going to get back on the road. Head towards Las Vegas.